Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Aglesam School. So today in this video we are going to cover NCRT solutions for class 10th and the subject which we are doing is science and here we are doing chapter number 1 and the name of the chapter is chemical reactions and equations. So guys let's start with the exercise part. So here exercise question page number 14 and 16. So here question number 1 says which of the statement about the reaction below are incorrect so you have to find the incorrect statement so this statement is 2 pvo s plus cs 2 pvs plus co2 g so a is lead is getting reduced b is carbon dioxide is getting oxidized c is carbon is getting oxidized d is lead oxide is getting reduced so first is a and b second is a and c third is a b c and fourth is all so the answer for the same is first a and b explanation is because oxygen is being removed and because the removed oxygen from the lead is added to the element till carbon so guys let's move on to question number two so here question number two says fe2o3 plus 2ai al2o3 plus 2fe the above reaction is an example of first is combination reaction second is double displacement reaction third is decomposition reaction fourth is displacement reaction so here the answer is Displacement reaction. Explanation is the oxygen from the ferrous oxide is getting displaced to the aluminum metal to form aluminum oxide. On this reaction, aluminum is more reactive metal than Fe. Therefore, Ai will be displaced Fe from its oxide. The type of chemical reaction in which one of the element displays another is called displacement reaction. Here, less reactive metal is displayed by the more reactive metal since one time displacement is occurring therefore it is called a single displacement reaction so guys let's move on to question number three which says what happened when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to iron fillings take the correct answer so first is hydrogen gas and iron chloride are produced second is chlorine gas and iron hydroxide are produced no reaction take place fourth is iron salt and water are produced so the answer for the same is hydrogen gas and iron chloride are produced explanation is the chlorine from hydrogen chloride is displaced by the iron filling to undergo the following reaction 2 hcl plus fe fecl2 plus h2 so guys let's move on to question number fourth here question number four said what is a balanced chemical equation why should a chemical equation be balanced so the answer for the same is a balanced equation is the one in which number of different atoms on both the reactant and product sites are equal balancing chemical equation is necessary for the reaction should obey the law of conservation of energy balancing the chemical equation has no defined method and it is purely a trial and error attempt let's move on to question number five which says translate the following statement into chemical equation and balance them a is hydrogen gas combined with nitrogen to form ammonia b is hydrogen sulfide gas burn into air to give water and sulfur dioxide c is barium chloride react with aluminium sulfate to give aluminium chloride and precipitate of barium sulfate fourth is potassium metal react with water to give potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas so the answer is a is unbalanced s2 plus n2 nh3 balances 3s2 plus n2 2 nh3 b is unbalances s2s plus o2 h2o plus s o2 Balances 2H2S plus 3O2, 2H2O plus 2SO2. C is unbalances BACL2 plus AL2, SO4, 3. ALCL3 plus BASO4. So the balance for the same is 3BACL2 plus AL2, SO4, 3. 2ALCL3 plus 3BASO4. And balance for the fourth is K plus H2O, KOH plus H2. Balance is 2K plus H2O, 2KOH plus H2. So this is all for question number five. Let's come to question number six, which says balance the following equation. So here, first is HNO3 plus CaOH2, CaNO3 2 plus H2O. B is NaOH plus H2SO4. Na2SO4 plus H2O. C is NaCl plus AgNO3, AgCl plus NaNO3. D is BaCl2 
2 plus H2SO4 BaSO4 plus HCl. So the solution is A2HNO3 plus CaOH2 CaNO3 2 plus 2H2O B is 2NaOH plus H2SO4 Na2SO4 plus 2H2O C is NaCl plus AgNO3 AgCl plus NaNO3 D is BaCl2 plus H2SO4 BaSO4 plus 2HCl. So this is all for question number 6. Let's come to question number 7. Question number 7 says, write the balanced chemical equation for the following reaction. Calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide minus calcium carbonate plus water, zinc plus silver nitrate minus zinc nitrate plus silver, aluminum plus copper chloride, aluminum chloride plus copper, barium chloride plus potassium sulfate, barium sulfate plus potassium chloride. So the solution is 2 Ca. OH2 plus 2CO2 2CaCO3 plus 2H2O Zn plus 2AgNO3 ZnNO3 2 plus 2Ag 2Al plus 3CuCl3 2AlCl3 plus 3Cu BaCl2 plus K2SO4 BaSO4 plus 2KC so this is all for question number 7. Now moving to next question number 8 which says write a balanced chemical equation of the following and identify the type of the reaction of each case. So here first is KBr plus BAL2 KL plus BABr2 ZnCO3 ZnO plus CO2 H2 plus Cl HCl Mg plus HCl MgCl2 plus H2. So the solution is 2KBr plus BaL2 2KL plus BaBr2 double displacement reaction. So this is double displacement reaction. Second is ZnCO3 ZnO plus CO2. This is decomposition reaction. Third is H2 plus Cl 2HCl. This is combination reaction. Fourth is Mg plus 2HCl MgCl2 plus H2. This is displacement reaction. This is all for question number 8. Now moving to next. This is question number 9 which says what is meant by exothermic and endothermic reaction. Give example. Solution is an endothermic reaction occurs when energy is absorbed from the surroundings in the form of heat. Example photosynthesis melting of ice evaporation. Conversely an exothermic reaction is the one in which energy is released from the system into the surroundings. Example explosions concrete setting nuclear fission and fusion now moving to next this is question number 10 which is why is respiration considered to be an exothermic reaction so the solution for the same is for the survival of life we require energy we obtain this energy from the food we eat the food molecules through the process of digestion is broken down into a simpler molecule like glucose these substances come in contact with the oxygen present in our body cells to form carbon dioxide and water along with a certain amount of energy respiration cis process since the energy is in the form of heat that maintain our body temperature the respiration is considered to be an exothermic reaction. The reaction takes place is C6H12O6 plus 6O2, 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. So this is all for question number 10. Moving to the next, that is question number 11, which says why are decomposition reaction called the opposite of combination reaction? Right equation for the decomposition reaction. Solution is combination reaction is said to be the reaction between two or more molecules to form a larger molecule whereas the decomposition reaction is defined as the splitting of larger molecules into two or more smaller molecules. The essentially explain that the decomposition reaction is the opposite of the combination reaction. In most of the cases the decomposition reaction is endothermic since heat from the surrounding or included heat is used to break the bonds of the larger molecule. Few examples of decomposition reaction are ZnCO3, ZnO plus CO2, CaCO3 plus energy, CaO plus CO2, 2HdO, 2Hd plus O2. So this is all for question number 11. Now moving to the next question that is question number 12. Write an equation in each 
for decomposition reaction in which energy is supplied in the form of heat, light or electricity. So the solution for the same is a thermal decomposition reaction. This thermal decomposition reaction is decomposition of potassium chloride when heated strongly potassium chloride decomposes in potassium chloride and oxygen. The reaction is reduced for the preparation of oxygen. So here reaction is being written that is 2KClO3 plus heat which form 2KCl plus 3O2. B is electrolytic decomposition reaction that is electrolysis decomposition of sodium chloride on passing electricity through molten sodium chloride it decomposes into sodium and chlorine c is photo decomposition reaction that is photolysis this is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in the presence of light hydrogen peroxide decomposes it into water and oxygen this is all for question number 12 moving to the next that is question number 13 which says what is the difference between displacement and double displacement reaction write relevant equation for the above so here is the solution is a displacement reaction is the one when a more reaction substances displaces a less reactive one from its salt solution whereas a double displacement reaction is the one where the mutual exchange zone happens between two compounds in a displacement reaction only a single displacement take place where the double displacement reaction as the name suggests two displacement take place between the molecules example is displacement reaction mg plus 2 hcl mgcl2 plus h2 double displacement reaction is 2 kbr bal2 2 kl plus babr2 so this is all for question number 13 moving to the next that is question number 14 in the refining of silver the recovery of silver from silver nitrate solution involves displacement reaction by copper metal write down the reaction involved so the solution for the same is cus plus 2 ag no3 aq that is cu no3 2 aq plus 2 ag s moving to the next that is question number 15 from the same page page number 14 and 16 what do you mean by precipitation reaction explain by giving example so the solution for the same is when two solution containing soluble salts are combined a double displacement reaction take place in which the ions are exchanged between the compounds when one of the such compound formed is in solid form that is insoluble in the aqua then it settles down at the bottom of the container this solid is known as the precipitate and the respective reaction is termed as the precipitation reaction few example of precipitation reaction are cdso4 aq plus k2s aq cds s k2so4 aq 2 naoh aq plus mgcl2 aq and from 2 nacl aq plus mgoh2 s so this is all for question number 15 moving to the next that is question number 16 from the same page 14 to 16 here question number 16 says explain the following in terms of gain of oxygen with two example each a is oxidation b is reduction solution is in a chemical reaction when the oxygen is added to the element to form its respective oxide it is the element being oxidized example is 4nas plus o2g 2na2os h2s plus o2h2o plus so2 B is in a chemical reaction when the oxygen is being removed from the compound then it is said to be reduced example is CuOS plus H2G CuS H2O L which form 2HO 2HGO 2HG plus O2 so this is all for question number 16 moving to the next that is question number 17 which says a shiny brown colored element X on heating in the air becomes black in color name the element x and the black colored compound formed so the answer is the shiny brown colored element is copper metal that is cu when the metal is heated in an air it reacts with the atmospheric oxygen to form copper oxide hence the black colored compound is the copper oxide and the reaction is 2 cus plus o2 g that form 2 cuo s this is all for question number 17 now moving to the next that is question number 18 which says why do we apply paint on the iron articles solution is iron article are painted to prevent them from rusting when left unpainted the metal surface come into the contact with the atmospheric oxygen and in the presence of moisture it 
from iron 3 oxide but if the painted the surface does not come in contact with moisture and air thus preventing rusting so this is all for question number 18 now moving to the next question number 19 oil and fat containing food item are flushed with nitrogen why so the answer for the same is the main purpose of flushing nitrogen into food packet that contain oil and fat item is to prevent rancidity which occurs when the oil or fat reacts with the oxygen letting out an unpleasant smell and taste therefore by flushing nitrogen and unreactive surrounding is created thus preventing rancidity this is all for question number 19 here question number 20 says explain the following terms with one example each first is corrosion base rancidity solution is corrosion is a process where a refined metal is oxidized by atmospheric oxygen to form a more stable compound such as oxides the metal gradually degrades during the corrosion process rusting of iron is a good example of a corrosion where the iron is converted to iron oxide millions of dollars are spent annually in preventing rusting from bridges and other monuments and the b is rancidity which known as the condition produced by the aerial oxidation of the oil and fat present in the food material that produce an unpleasant taste and smell the rancidity is retarded when the food is kept inside the refrigerator since the low temperature does not promote the oxidation reaction so this is all for question number 20 so guys this is all for the video thank you so much for watching this video till the end and uh, if you like our video then hit the like button and share this video with your friends to get update for more NCRT solution and the most important thing for the video is that don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel that is Aglasen School. We'll see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.